and, and usually it's associated um, with a tight up of heartwood rot. And so that makes it soft enough for it to go in there and be able to make a cavity in the, in the tree. But it's just basically the, the ecosystem that those trees grow in and having that wide open spaces um, is how, how that bird interacts with that ecosystem. So they actually need the living tree. Not yes. just the dead, but the living tree yeah, and other woodpeckers yeah. aren't like that, huh? Yeah, yeah. and the, the excavating that cavity causes the tree to produce resin, which then protects the nest. And mm -hmm. so a lot of predators can't get to that nest because it's in a living tree and, and it's exuding resin, which acts as kind of their home defense. Uh, That's crazy. Which protects that nest. Yeah. What would predate upon RCWs? Well, yeah, snakes. Yeah. So gray rat snakes, mm -hmm. raccoons. Anything climb to that height? I think it's mainly for, for snakes at that okay. height. Um, I mean, Pretty in other cool. areas, we might have, you know, nest competitors like um, flying squirrels and things like uh, that. But Okay. Very cool. Yeah. So cool. I, I think I was going to mention the nest, how, you know, it, it the barrier that it creates, mm -hmm. the natural, the, the pine sap or resin or whatever is coming out. How are we going to recreate that? And I know I, I might be jumping ahead, but, like, just <laughs> – we have to take a step or two to make that house for that bird to reintroduce it, right? Right. So, I mean, right. there's going to be a lot of work going into this uh, oh, yeah. before we can even bring yeah, the actual have, bird in. Yeah. Like, yeah, we have a lot of work to get started on this. 